What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So my device was stuck in a endless respring loop. Uh, the first time I've ever encountered this on iOS 14. Now unfortunately at the time uh, that it happened I wasn't able to record. I did take a quick little video of it but I, I wasn't able to record how I fixed it. So I want to kind of walk you guys through how I fixed a respring endless loop in this video. But basically it just kept respringing over and over and over again and there was nothing I could do. I could not get away from the respring loop. No matter what I did, it just, in the jailbroken state, it would just continuously respring over and over. It was making my battery incredibly hot in my iPhone and uh, I'm gonna explain what I did to fix this issue. It's super frustrating when it happens, but there are some things you can do to fix it and to um, basically make your device usable again. I mean, obviously, as you guys can see, uh, my 10s Max is still jailbroken, uh, still operating, and it is perfectly fine now. So I'm going to pretend as if it's in the respring loop right now. So I'm just going to pretend it's sitting there and it's respringing. And when it does that, you can't do anything on your iPhone. You can't go into it. You can't go into any applications or anything. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is just do a hard reboot to your device. Now, I talk about the hard reboot all the time. Uh, it is a way of fixing boot loops. It's the way of fixing respring loops. It's a way of fixing a frozen screen. It's a way of fixing a frozen device or a frozen application. It really can save you. Just doing a hard reboot can fix a lot of stupid, weird little bugs. So to do a hard reboot on iPhone 8 and newer, I'm pretty sure it's iPhone 8 all the way up to the 12s. Um, all you gotta do is click the volume up the volume down and then hold the side button and that will trigger your device to reboot. And this is this is different than holding the side button doing a sli slide to power off. It is different than that and this forces a reboot no matter what the screen looks like. So even if the screen is you know, powered off and completely black, you can still do a reboot on your device. That's the difference. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back in here. So we're gonna do the hard reboot so like I said, volume up, volume down, and then hold the side button. And you keep holding the side button until you see the Apple logo appear. And like I said, this is probably one of the best tricks you can know having an iPhone. Even if you're not jailbroken, I've, I've noticed that on stock iOS, um, even when you encounter issues with like apps being glitchy or freezing or being weird, doing a hard reboot can fix a lot of silly weird bugs. Uh, but basically, when I was in the respring loop, what I did is this hard reboot, and that forces my iPhone to come out of the jailbroken state. And then, as you can see, we're booted back up. So now we are out of, out of the jailbroken state, and we can use our device again. But now, what to do to try and fix the respring loop? So basically, for me, when it was happening, I could go ahead and re-jailbreak my device, but as soon as it went back into the jailbroken state, it would start respring looping again. Now, luckily, uh, these jailbreaks do have a safeguard in place, and it allows you to turn off your tweaks. So as you can see in Taurine, I can turn my tweaks off by clicking that toggle. Also, Uncover has this option as well. So if you go into Uncover here, go to the settings, uh, as you can see, there is the Load Tweaks toggle right there. So turn that off. And then even CheckRain has the option as well built into uh, the application on your computer. You can use CheckRain to jailbreak your device without any tweaks enabled. Now, I do want to mention if any developers watch these videos that work on jailbreaks, uh, if you can implement a way to jailbreak into safe mode, I think that that would probably be the best thing you can do because if you're in safe mode, uh, you can basically uninstall tweaks and then exit safe mode and then you can use your tweaks again. The issue with this is you jailbreak without tweaks enabled and then you have to shut your phone off, turn it back on, and then re-jailbreak with the tweaks enabled again. So it's a kind of a long process. So basically what I did is I turned off enable tweaks. And all you gotta do is click on jailbreak. And I noticed after doing this a bunch of times, trying to figure out what the issue was. Uh, it does make the jailbreak utility or the application itself get a little weird. Sometimes the jailbreak will fail. 
Um, so you will encounter issues with the jailbreaks when you're, you know, uh, going into a jailbreak with tweaks disabled, uninstalling a tweak, and then re-jailbreaking, and then with the tweaks enabled to see if that fixed it. When you do that over and over again, it can cause issues with the jailbreak. But basically what it's doing is it's just going through the normal jailbreak process, except for none of my tweaks are going to be working. And this will allow you to go into Cilio or Cydia or Zebra, whatever you're using, to uninstall packages or tweaks to help, uh, try and help and find your way out of that respring loop. So here we go. Sometimes this does fail. The way you will know if it worked or not is if you can open Cydia or Cilio. So there you go. As you can see, I am in the jailbroken state, but none of my tweaks are enabled. And this is going to allow me to go into uh, my package manager and uninstall tweaks to hopefully try and figure out what the issue is. So I guess we could just, we can just pretend I, I'm uninstalling a tweak or tweaks. Like I said, I uninstalled like 90% of my tweaks on my device. Um, it still didn't work, but what I would do is I would uninstall a bunch of them. And then after I uninstall them, you do a respring. And then what you want to do is go ahead and power off or hard reboot your device again. So that's what I would do. Just do the, the reboot. So basically we're taking it out of the jailbroken state again, even though there is no tweaks enabled. That's why I was saying uh, if we could have this so it could be safe mode, it'd be much more efficient and less time consuming, but I'm just going to take it out of the jailbroken state and then I'm going to re-jailbreak it with the tweaks enabled again to see if uninstalling those set tweaks fixes the respring loop. All right, we're booted back up. We're out of the jailbroken state. So now that I uninstalled a bunch of tweaks, I can go back into Touring. I can have enabled tweaks on, click jailbreak, and then go into the jailbroken state again to see if by uninstalling those tweaks, uh, if it fixes the respring loop or not. And what do you know, we uh, <laughs> we are now stuck in a boot loop, which is pretty funny, I must say. This does happen pretty frequently with these jailbreaks, Uncover, Touring. Um, they're, the way they jailbreak is they have to do it on a boot up, um, and it can cause boot loops. So I guess this works out perfect for this video. So I need to get out of this stupid boot loop now, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to wait for the Apple to appear, or the Apple logo to appear, and I'm going to hard reboot right away. And I'm just going to keep holding here. Okay, well, the screen is staying black, so we'll try it again. Volume up, volume down. Side button here. And there we go. We got the Apple logo. So hopefully this will take us out of the boot loop. Like I said, I can't stress enough how important it is to know how to do a hard reboot on these devices. It can, it can really save you. And I know a lot of people out there probably can't figure it out and they end up like doing a restore to their device on their computer, losing their jailbreak. So hopefully uh, you guys find this useful. But again, we're going to go ahead and try to attempt to go back into the jailbroken state with tweaks enabled. So I'll be back as soon as it's done. Alrighty, and there we go. We officially re broke it and we are all good. Now, if you're like me and you do this a bunch of times where you're um, removing a bunch of tweaks to figure out why the respring loop is happening, and even if you uninstall a whole bunch of them, you still cannot figure it out, there is one more thing you can do. It's a little bit annoying, but it will fix your device. And you can go into the jailbreak application and you can restore your root file system. That's going to basically erase all of your tweaks off of your device. You can do this in Uncover as well, and you can do it with CheckRain. So if we go in here, Uncover has the restore root file system right there. So all the jailbreak utilities have this, and this is basically the last thing you can do if you can't figure out what tweak or tweaks is causing it. Uh, go ahead and go into your jailbreak application. This is what I had to do. Um, I had to restore the root file system. 
Obviously, you have to restore it when you're not in the jailbroken state. It will say jailbreak or on uncover, it'll say restore root file system. But you have to be out of the jailbroken state in order to do, to do that. And then it's going to remove all of the tweaks on your device. Uh, now, one thing that's nice is for me, um, when I went back in and installed all of the tweaks that I like to use again, uh, basically all of the settings will remain for those in your system. So, you know, how you have, you know, like Boxy here, how I have my application grid moved down. When I installed Boxy again, uh, it basically went back to its last saved state or for uh, basically where it, what its preferences were um, before I re erased it. So. Uh, the preferences or the settings will remain, but you just have to in and install all the tweaks again. So it's a little frustrating, but it can fix your device. Our restore root file system is really nice to know about as well if you absolutely can't figure out what tweak is doing it. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.